York, New York. Hi guys, I am in New York for a week and I'm so excited because it is my first time trying to film a vlog and I hope that you will enjoy all my adventures from going to work at Facebook to dressing up in a bunch of fun, colorful looks to trying to sneak into some fashion parties and fashion shows because it is New York Fashion Week. Out and enjoy New York. This was the view from my hotel room at the Edition New York. Isn't it so magical and so beautiful? All right, guys, giving you a little room tour. This hotel has so much New York energy. Okay, first we will check out the bathroom. Guys, I love a good bathroom and this one really lived up to my expectations. And then the room itself was gorgeous. The bed was so comfortable. The only weird thing was this furry situation on the bed, but I really enjoyed all the fashion photography they had on the wall. The views were my favorite part, so stunning. Every morning you'd wake up and feel inspired. And look at the closet, so pretty. It's also really warm right now, which I'm surprised by. Like it feels like California winter. But I just wanted to show you guys, I brought these long leather gloves, which feel very New York. And I don't know if I'll be able to wear them, but I'm really excited to wear them. And I just think gloves are so cool. And when you actually can be in a place that has cold enough weather to like rock some sexy gloves, then do it. Like winter fashion is so good. Coats, gloves, fur. So I'm trying to bring my mob boss wife energy. Ready to hit the town. Gonna go to Whole Foods, stock up all my snacks and my water. I am loving all my hip hop Chanel vibes going on. Cruise collection necklace and we have cruise collection, a uh, little SLG. And then I have my Rowan Rose jacket, which is like a couple years ago, but I wear it all the time. So let's see what New York thinks about Asha bringing the color. Let's go. So I got off the plane, checked into the hotel, and just started walking around the whole city. I had so much energy. New York gives me so much life, especially New York at night. It is so gorgeous, so fun. I ended up going to Kazu Nori. This was recommended by the concierge. It's the sister of Sugarfish. So delicious. Good morning, guys. It's my first official full day in New York, and I got up super early because I really want to shoot some fun content before I go to work. I'm a product designer at Facebook, so technically I am here to work on Facebook related activities, but in my heart, I am here for fashion week. And I really wanna just shoot a lot of fun outfits, fun looks to inspire you guys. Currently, I'm trying to curl my hair. I am so bad at hair. Um, it's just ridiculous. Like I try really hard to learn tutorials and whatever, but I don't know, it's, it's just beyond uh, help. Um, but I will try my best for you this morning and I can't wait to take you guys out. We're going to be walking to the Meta office. I'll show you what I can of the office. I'm gonna wear a really fun first day look and we can just chit chat about New York fashion and more. This was my look on day one. I paired pink jeans with a red Chanel jacket. I love pink and red together as a combination. It was also the week of Valentine's Day, so I was in a very Valentine color energy. I was so inspired by this window that I actually stood all the way up on the window. I set up my tripod opposite the window so I could get a really 
epic shot of New York City. Whenever I take my own photos for Instagram, I try my best to really create a story and a narrative and reflect the clothes with very cool backgrounds or atmospheres and this view was so good. I loved walking to the office every day. The only day I didn't walk to the office is when it snowed just because I am not used to snow and high heels. It was a super intense Monday at the office. Work was so busy. So by 5.30, I was ready to go do some shopping at Chanel. I was so excited because I was told that I must visit the 57th Street store, which is the flagship New York store. I connected with Judith, who is amazing if you are in New York, and we had a blast looking at all the fun cruise items. I then went to Times Square with my team. We hung out. And by 10 p.m., I was ready for a little snack. Day two was a snowstorm. I have never been in a snowstorm before. I was terrified. I did not know how to get to the office, but I dressed as a really cute snow bunny. I was in really warm thermal shirt that my husband gave me, and I headed out my first time being in real snowfall, had a really great H&M hat, had this really awesome H&M studio, puffy, fun pink jacket. So I think the Barbie core vibes along with really comfortable boots just totally made me fall in love with the snow. After a day at the office, I again headed to Chanel to see Judith because I was ready to really check out a fun item to buy something really special to commemorate my New York trip. I got these star earrings and I also got this beautiful denim vest from Cruise and my first Chanel flat bag. It is a flat bag with a twist. Check out my video on the unboxing where I discuss this bag. Then I headed to Bergdorf's, which is basically my favorite store in New York. The architecture is amazing. The people are amazing. It is like fashion lovers heaven. Look at these escalators. They are just so, so cool. They had the best Chanel dad sandal selection ever. They also had these great shoes. I also got these. Check out the unboxing. So it was a wonderful day for fashion heaven, for Chanel heaven. And this is just me being in Asha heaven, <laughs> jumping on my bed. <laughs> Comment below if you also love jumping on hotel room beds. It's a ritual that I do every time I go to a hotel and I've done this since I was a little kid and I am not gonna stop. comes up a lot in my life is this idea of joy and delight and pleasure. And I'd say for the last two years, I have been working on becoming a mother. I have a two-year-old son and it's such a huge learning curve to fully take care of another human being that really can only rely upon you. I also became a mom and transitioned to a new job as a product designer at Meta, at Facebook. And I've been a product designer for a while, but working at a top tech company is very challenging and very stressful. And so those two elements combined really sucked the happiness and joy out of my life for the last two years. But 2024, I have been really intentional about prioritizing not just my happiness, because I feel like happiness, what is happiness? That's very hard to define. But I would say intentionally prioritizing my pleasure in life. And it feels so good to let go of guilt, anxiety, to say no to work, to people, to things. Um, and really enjoy myself. And so to me, I love first and foremost Chanel, the history of Chanel, the fashion, 
since I was 12, I literally would skip class, go to the library and watch Chanel shows. So Chanel and fashion have a very deep, powerful meaning in my life and they give me a lot of source of pleasure. And so this year I really decided to prioritize enjoying shopping and buying things I really love, even if they seem impractical. But I don't think we talk about that a lot. We don't talk about women giving themselves joy and pleasure. And I don't think it always has to be luxury items like Chanel. It can be a beautiful meal or a walk or making sure you get a nice workout in and like let your husband take care of the kids. And even if he's gonna get the McDonald's for dinner and you'd make them a home cooked meal, like let him do that and don't micromanage him. Like go find your own pleasure. So anyway, I just wanna encourage you guys to try to find those moments of self love and pleasure in life because I see in so many of my friends that are working and moms and doing all these things, like we are so burnt out and it's really sad and you only have one life to live and we need to prioritize bringing more of that happiness and joy into our lives. Happy Valentine's! This is what I'm wearing today. We have a really cozy H&M Studio fluffy jacket. It's so warm, so good for the winter, but still has color. Then I'm wearing a Rowan Rose dress, which is so fun. I got it at the Net-A-Porte sale. I love the exaggerated shoulder. It looks really cool. Then we have earrings, little heart Chanel's, Chanel bag. I think orange and pink is such an awesome color combination. And you guys should totally try to wear some form of pink and orange this spring. And then Stuart Weitzman boots, which are thigh high, super comfortable. I can run around in the snow, but still look chic. After working at the office, look at this cute artwork, by the way, how fun. I headed to a romantic solo Valentine's dinner by myself. The best Valentine's I have ever had, guys. I'm just letting you know, don't wait for someone to take you out. Take yourself out. Romance yourself. The hotel had a DJ too. It was so fun. show you guys I am not always wearing Chanel I love to mix high and low I'm wearing an H&M bodysuit that I think is so high quality and so high end um, it's really cozy and warm but it's off the shoulder so it's kind of sexy which I always like to have a little hint of sexiness but not in a vulgar way and I'm wearing a Chanel cruise necklace, which adds a bit of that glam. But honestly, I live in Nike sweatpants, H&M, and Zara. I think they're very high quality and awesome. And I think it's really fresh to mix and match. I don't like to just be in high-end stuff. I like to have fun with clothes and I gravitate toward anything that I Think is cute and that looks have good on my body. Self-portrait so. mini skirt. So cute. Really warm HM tights. Thigh high Stuart Weitzman boots. And my new awesome Who Decides War men's jacket, which I tucked into this skirt to kind of create a little more length in the legs. That's a hot tip. Always tuck things in, really lengthens the legs. And I love it because it is a pop of color, but the collar area is still very open. So I think it's like feminine and sexy. It adds structure to the shoulders, which is, you know, creating a more bold statement look. And then you can still see my cute necklace because make it Chanel. Also got my little cute silver cruise bag. So gold, silver, pops of color, orange. I think we're ready to take on New York in the winter. 
Let's go. All right, guys, we are now in the cab headed to Soho. Yellow cabs are just so fun and so easy to take in New York. So really, really having a blast um, and love just seeing the views from the cab ride. My first stop was Chanel, of course. Every Chanel boutique has a different buyer, a different selection. So that's why I find it really fun to go into different boutiques and see what variety they have. They would not let me film, so this is <laughs> the only shot that I got. But I will link my unboxing for you guys because I got some really, really fun we goodies. We just finished some major shopping at Chanel and I am so excited because I found things that are so rare which was my goal I think the Soho store is my favorite Chanel by far they were so lovely I actually got to shop with the visual merchandiser and we nerded out on all things design and art so very excited you guys to unbox this with you later today. Next, we are going to Atelier, Atelier Beauté Chanel. So check it out. Atelier Beauté. Let's play with makeup. Uh, so we are back at my hotel after some major cardio and working out called shopping. Soho in New York is amazing. I think by far my favorite place. I went to Chanel there. They were so kind. The literal visual merchandiser of the whole store decided to be my BFF and just like shopped with me and he studied fashion and he has this design background and he's not even a sales associate so He's not really supposed to sell the clothes, but we just got really excited about geeking out over design and like experience design. So that was super fun. I will do a full unboxing soon. I then went to the Chanel Beauté Atelier where I got this custom service where they analyze your skin and then they put makeup on you and they teach you how to do your makeup and kind of the colors that look good on you and they mix these like they have these jars of lipsticks and it's like science and art and just really awesome if you ever are in new york and you like makeup and skincare um it's kind of heaven on earth so you should go i then was just randomly walking by stores and saw a lot of beautiful colors in the window of this store and I had no idea, but Issey Miyake has this line called Pleats, Please. And they're literally, well, I'm wearing the dress, so big reveal. I'm not doing an unboxing for this because I love it so much. I just want to wear it right now. But they are these pleats that he designed and they have them in ombre and gradients and like neutrals to splashes of bright color like this yellow. And I just love this so much i wasn't gonna buy a dress i really thought no with my mom bod like my little stomach pooch is gonna show like i've had a baby i don't know it's gonna be like not cute on me but i tried it on and it is so stunning it's giving me life it's really hard to pick a yellow as well that you know you look good in so we can talk about colors at some point anyway I am so excited I bought this. I think I will be going online and buying a ton more. We do not have this in California. And I think it's just so flattering on any body shape, any woman. It's one size fits all, like it stretches to sort of fit your curves. So I highly recommend. All right, guys, it is my last full day in New York. So I'm gonna try this vlogging thing again. It's really tough though, because I get very distracted by New York and how awesome New York is, but I'm wearing this really fun new Chanel necklace I got. I just love it. I've been eyeing it for quite some time and they had it in the Soho boutique, so I'm very excited. Um, it's Hip Hop Chanel, which is my new style for 2024, so it's very on brand for, for Asha. 
Um, this is the New York edition, by the way. I don't know if I've talked much about it, but it is so beautiful and so fun. Can you guys see? They have so many cool photographs and the architecture of this hotel is just amazing. So I am loving it and I'll try on my way down to show you guys a bit of the lobby, but they don't really allow filming in the lobby. So yeah, we'll see. We are in Rockefeller Center and at FAO Schwartz. And one of my main goals is to get my son some really awesome presents because I have really awesome memories coming here as a kid and being able to like buy the whole store out. Um, not that I think I should do that. I know I'm definitely the parent that like loves to spoil him. So I'll try to keep it a little minimal, but I just really want to share this experience with him. And it's so funny when you're a parent how the emotions of your childhood and your memories really impact your parenting. So let's go. I ended up getting stuck on the Barbie floor because Barbie core is my thing. But I did get my son a ton of cute things. And then I went to Bergdorf's one more time. Bergdorf's is such a fashion heaven. Look at this amazing interior design. This is decor and home decor they sell. I loved this floor. I was also so inspired by their art gallery. They have this really cool artist who did all of these Chanel and Hermes bag paintings and vending machines and I just totally fell in love with Bergdorf's. It's like a museum in and of its own. I then headed to another very special solo dinner at The Modern and it was to die for. Thank you again Judith from Chanel who told me to go here because that was just an excellent recommendation. My favorite thing was this lobster pasta, which had this lemon butter sauce. It was out of this world delicious. Oh, and also guys, yes, I got two entrees because why not? And look at these desserts. I also got two desserts. These were fabulous. Goodbye, beautiful hotel. I'm gonna miss you. This is airport look. H&M jacket, H&M skirt, H&M top, with the little Chanel earring. So sad to leave. I'll be back. I had the best flight home. No one was sitting next to me. It was a miracle. Comment below if you love those times where like no one is on the plane or no one is sitting next to you and you can take up all the space. Also guys, let me know if you enjoyed this vlog. This was very experimental, but please comment below to give me feedback. Did you hate this? Was it super boring? Were there other things you would have rather seen about this trip? What did you like? What did you hate? Go for it. You know, be nasty. Like I hear all the bad comments and I definitely read them and I listen to them and I appreciate all your feedback, whether it's uh, negative or positive. But yeah, I just really wanted to share a very exciting moment in my life. This was the trip that actually inspired me to start this YouTube because I felt so energized and I felt so inspired by, by fashion and life.